Hey guys, welcome back to Artosis Cast and the China Korea Race Survival Tournament. We're in the semifinals and we are getting down to the end. Both teams down to their last player. Now there is a revival, so this won't be the last game. We'll have one to two more games. Uh, I think it's been a pretty excellent match so far. Some really interesting, diverse games out of these Protoss and Terran players. And this one will probably be, even be more so because we have Mi Hu here in the bottom left, the number one Chinese player, probably the number one player who is not Korean. Uh, he has done fantastically. He's really, really strong. He has his own style. And this is his best matchup, in my opinion, by miles. His opponent up here in the top right is Paralyze. Uh, you know, Paralyze showed us in that previous game and so many other of his uh, Protoss vs. Terran games that he is a master of speed shuttle usage. And we'll see if that stands up against Mihu. Uh, there's a few things. Okay, Mihu is maybe the most stylistic Terran at the, at the top, right? Like if you think about the top, I don't know, 50 Terrans or whatever. He's got the diff most different style out of everybody. Uh, Mihu, like in this, excuse me, in this particular matchup, uh, he does, like, for instance, <laughs> he always does, like, four to five factory on two base. He takes extremely late third bases, extremely late fourth bases. He produces so many SCVs on a few bases that he's, like, always on the verge of mining out. Uh, and, yeah, he's he's one of the best at engaging i think that that's an important uh takeaway here and i'll show it when it comes up and i know that it will come up he wins engagements that even top korean pros can't win his battle micro is it might actually just be the best i don't know it's 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 very perplexing and i'll show you exactly why because i know it'll come up because it does in every single mihu game where it's like okay this army shouldn't this should be close or something, right? Like maybe I'll, I'll say like, this should be close. And then me who will crush it. It's really weird. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll talk about that as we get to it. Now, Paralyze has done the strongest build in the entire game here. Uh, he has gone for, well, second strongest. If you get the offensive gas, it's even stronger. But he went Nexus first, cross scouted and found me who there. So he can stay on one gate. He can play it super, super greedy. Mihu going to come up with his SCV and see exactly what he's fighting against. Cross spawn Nexus first is incredibly strong. The travel distance is very, very far. So you don't really have rush builds that work against it. Well, you watch like Mihu is like, he'll make a vulture and send it very likely. Like it looks like he's pushing his Marines out a little bit. I don't know if he'll actually try to send them across the map because they're not actually able to do anything. Uh, but like, it, it just it's so far away it allows a lot of time for your uh protoss opponent to prepare more units and you know in this case look at this his scv production going to be fantastic or his pro production rather oh my god he is gonna do it he's gonna try to bust this now there's a second gate on the way the the thing about this is you know if cross spawn is let's call it eight or nine seconds further than a close spawn Every unit comes eight or nine seconds later. Now, that being said, he is sending the full contingent of SCVs. Okay, so he's gonna have eight SCVs up here total, and he's playing against a one gate cybernetics core opening. So when you look at that, it's like, okay, you're not gonna have that many units. If it was two gate, he wouldn't have done this. Like two gate before the core, it's two gate after, and I think that's what made him pull the trigger. So there's definitely, like he can kill this Nexus if he micros really well. And you can see here, like, Paralyze comes out and starts attacking. He's actually losing a lot of probes. Generally, when you go for this greedy one-gate style, you actually don't try to hold. You just run back into your base. So I'm surprised Paralyze is trying to hold this. And he is picking off a lot of SCVs, but the problem is that he lost so many probes, right? He had 19 probes at the beginning of that, and he is producing probes during this. So this is an issue. He lost a lot of probes there. Now, Mihu gets into the main base with the Vultures as well. Yeah, I'm, I am really surprised he tried to hold that. This is this is a huge issue. We're down to nine probes now. This should be a position that Mihu can can end up winning with. If you're like nine probes to 17 is what we just had a moment ago. And uh, is the Nexus going to die? It's actually, I think it is. Do we have another SCV coming? No, we don't have. 
two SCVs just kind of idle. This this actually happens even at the top level uh, because you're like so busy focusing your micro and everything. Now, wow. So he moved his Dragoons forward. I think he was trying to get out and me who blocked. That's pretty common. If you get out, you block reinforcements, which makes it hard. So he is going to end up losing the Nexus. Uh, yeah, he just, he doesn't have the right amount of health. You'd have to walk into bunker range and be able to kill everything. So he's unable to do that. He loses the Nexus. Mines are on the way. It's four Dragoons, so he's going to have to do some fancy micro here and let, like, the Marine, for instance, bait shots. In fact, you can see that he's just, he doesn't want it to bait shots because you, three SCVs will repair through three goons attacking, but not through four. So he's trying to draw fire here to keep this up longer so that he can get mines. That is the entirety of what Mihu's doing right now. See this? Like he's trying to say, yeah, fire at me, fire at me, because he just needs a few more seconds to get his mines. And once he has mines at, see that? He's popping a Marine out. He's saying, attack me, goes after the goon. See, he forces that back. It allows the bunker to stay up a little bit longer. There you go. And he finally gets his mines up. Uh-oh. Mihu does not have an additional... Uh, he does not have a, a, a command center up. This is a very weird game, guys. Like, we have a lot of Nexus first builds. We have a lot of Nexus busts. But the two weird things that happened here was the amount of probes lost. Because, again, normally you just pull back when you go for the one gate Nexus first. If they decide to bust, you just say, screw it. I'll just have a better worker count than you and double expand after I clear this. Here, he's walking through some mines. He's, like, trying to be fancy, but it's not working out for him this time. And Mihu didn't make a fast expansion. He's actually rallying up siege tanks. So, like, his attack is not even done, which is kind of wild. <laughs> you really never see this as the fault. Normally, what happens is as you're building the bunker, you start your command center, and then you go into mines. and Or sometimes you start mines first, but, like, the fact that he's getting tanks, he's not even, like, he's making an engineering bay, continually making depots and not expanding. Generally, the expansion is the way people play. So this is really cool and very different. I told you that Mihu has a very different looking style uh, when he plays. And in fact, I wonder if this is just going to be a quick game. He's got two very hurt goons. And this is a very, well, the Marines are really low on health. So that's something. But three healthy vultures, two SCVs, a siege tank. If you can pick the two goons, you can kill everything else pretty easily with what he's got. But with four goons, you do have to be pretty careful. You can see, like, <laughs> the mines. Oh, my God. And he actually gets the mines. So that's really good. But does take some additional damage on those goons. We have a robo coming up. Probes being made out of both. He's actually catching up on those workers pretty darn quickly. Your secondary seed chain comes up. So this is, he's, like, throwing a lot of units here. Should be able to get that. Oh, my God. It's like a six health goon. That is so painful. Oh, my God. He's getting so much done with it as well. In the meantime, the vultures do run up to the natural. Kill a few probes. Mihu on top of his multitasking right now. Looks like Paralyzed was focusing so much on these goons running by that uh, it did take a, a bit of additional damage. Reaver before Observer. Fascinating. I thought for sure he'd get Observer first to try to clear things out. But, yeah. Looks like he wants to get into that Reaver Tech ASAP. And that can be a very good choice. If your opponent hasn't expanded, well, the Reaver in general is a very good choice after a Nexus bust because you're forcing them to make missile turrets and defend. Uh, and that kind of turtles them up and allows you to take your three bases quickly. Another nice few pickoffs there from the Vulture. Amazing the low probe count he's keeping his opponent on here. I don't know how Mihu does this. How he forces like all these trades and everything. Really a fantastic Terran player. So the shuttle got started after this finish. That's a little bit of a misplay there from Paralyze. We have another siege tank out in the center. Oh, I think he's going to just barely lose it. That's That sucks. If he had attacked this one first, I think he would have just barely kept it alive just by reducing that damage output from Protoss. Unfortunate. Has two factories. He has his command center on the way, but this is already up. So we're actually going to have Paralyze pass Mihu's worker count. So despite all the damage we saw Mihu deal, we're going to be pretty even here in a minute. Now, that very red vulture runs through. The, the dragoons run through a mine, and he's going to micro this heavily since it does have that speed upgrade. Gets a couple more probes. The amount, the little tiny places he's getting damage. Look at this. He has an SCV waiting for the probe at the third base. Chases that away. He has a random seed shank in the center of the map. Guys, don't try to play like this at home. Okay, this this type of play as a Terran player 
is going to like you're going to be out here and then suddenly four goons kill that and you're like damn i'm just losing units left and right it, the fact that me who can get this done no one knows how he does it but he is fantastic at this type of spot look at this weird little push that that he's uh pushing out here uh and i i don't know like who's ahead who's ahead looking at this okay we have missile turret missile turret he's gonna make another one here because you need like three missile turrets at least against like incoming reaver he's got a good siege tank oh my god he's got units here as the reaver comes out if he clears all this efficiently i would say it's even if he doesn't then me who's me who's in a very good spot but just two base versus two base is generally good against Terran. but look at how suddenly we have paralyzed actually up in workers now right mihu is down in workers somehow after he got his opponent it was nine probes to 17 scvs but that again can show you you know when you're going for that fast uh, command center after your bust if he happened to have done that i feel like this game might be getting closed out right now by like a four or five factory push but obviously you don't know when you start the push that you're going to end up killing that many probes either right like every every bust is different whether they fight with the probes or you know whether your vultures are actually going to be able to slip in something like that always hard to say now mihu is back here and ready as the reaver gets here he lays a few mines down sieges up Ooh, i don't like that siege too much but actually paralyzed just flies past it those passes, Mr. Turret. There is another missile turret being made. Might target right here. Oh, no. He looks like he was going after a vulture. It's good to get rid of that turret. You don't want that finishing, so you can get out with your Reaver. Wraith on the way, so that definitely uh, is going to slow down what, what he's able to do here. Oh, my God. Five health left over. Oh, my. He should send that Marine in at this point. The Reaver very, very low right now. Being dropped over into the corner. Wraith is almost done. Yeah, he just, he drops it out. All right, so that is done. I feel like this, this is one of the crazier TVPs that I've seen in a while. There's been so much action, so much damage, and so much recovery. Like, look at this. The third Nexus is going to be finishing up nine probes at the moment. Mihu looks like he might catch some of these probes. <laughs> oh, if he goes over right now. Oh, my God. Oh, and he actually misses it. He misses it. That's unfortunate because he had the vultures, but I he just didn't expect it. He didn't know, like, the timing of this or what was going on. As three facts, going for some more. Has that star port up. Yeah, the drop ship is a good play. We'll see if he's able to do anything with that. You know, this type of base. We're in such a weird spot. You don't really have cannons yet, even though he has a forge started. He might start cannons pretty soon, though. But if you don't have cannons here, a, a dropship getting into this area is going to do a lot of damage. We'll see if he has like a shuttle or something nearby. Observers right now kind of scouting the map a little bit for Paralyzed. He's trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Is there something like a hidden base? There always could be. You know, Terran's not known for doing that. But because Terrans are not known for doing that, sometimes it makes it really, really strong. Four more gates coming up. Stargate on the way and Templar Archives. So Paralyze is going to be going into Arbiter from here. I have to think about that for a moment, right? So he's had Speed Shuttle Reaver and he wants to go into Arbiter afterwards, which which I don't think is a necessarily bad play. It's not one of the more popular ones. Reaver, Reaver can go into anything at this point because it's just such solid tech. Uh, but it doesn't it doesn't feel like it pairs well with the Arbiter, but what it does do is Reaver slows your third base. And Arbiter likes you having slow bases if possible, because if you go straight Arbiter, you can't deny bases. Your opponent can just kind of like expand at will. So I don't know. I guess in theory, kind of, it, it, it makes some sense. And the thing is, I play against it plenty, but I don't have like a strong opinion about whether it's actually really good or not. Anyways, uh, Vulture drop at both bases. He's actually getting a very fair amount of probes here. Should be happy with it, just targeting them down. Maybe he'll redrop here. The Dragoon's never really got into a good position now. Looks like he's just going to save his dropship. Oh, got to watch this. Now, look, this is this is a Mihu push. Even if his name was covered up, I'd be like, yeah, that might be Mihu there. 
because this is his type of play. Notice we're 15 minutes in, no third base. And he's just attacking across the map with a really random amount of units. It's like, yeah, eight siege tanks and a group of vultures. It's a, that's a weird army to be attacking at 15 minutes across the map with two bases. But Mihu knows how to get this done. This is one of those situations where you look at this and you're like, okay, well, this army does beat that. But as these units come out, Protoss should be able to break this. We'll see, yeah, especially with this flank. Paralyze should be able to break this. But watch Mihu's battle control. Because Paralyze is going to come in with everything he has in a moment. Needs to load some things up to drop in the center. But look. He's bringing this army around. This is beautiful maneuvering. Beautiful maneuvering. And here we go. He's going to attack from both sides. We're going to zoom way out. Paralyzed should crush this. Let's see how badly he crushes it. Okay, so the Zealot's getting picked off really quickly. You can see Mihu focus firing tanks onto those Dragoons. More Vultures came out up. And I'll tell you what. This trade... Look at this. I'm not joking. How does Mihu kill all of that? unbelievable focus fire look at this he's working on this pile and he's gonna get in he's gonna slip that right in there and kill a couple more probes too why not <laughs> i guess he doesn't kill the probes but still you saw that right that protoss army was perfectly suited to crush if he had brought this it would have been a lot better but uh it was perfectly suited to crush and there was only like six protoss units left at the end me who just he focus fires really well uh, he he draws units to the side and stuff so they aren't fighting together. It's really amazing. There needs to be a case study done on Mihu and how he takes these fights. Because if every Terran player could take fights like that, I tell you. <laughs> well, I think part of it's his style as well, right? He's got weird amounts of units at weird times doing weird attacks. And I'm sure that that helps out a little bit. Now, Mihu finally has his third base. It's not even mining. We're 17 minutes in. He's not mining from a third fourth base floating up at like the same time he's gonna have scds of these bases at basically the same time which is pretty wild sets up here so this is a pretty good setup this is a little bit harder to hold but there are cool positions where you can put like a tank here and tanks up here and it kind of shuts off most of your attack potential looks like he's just gonna siege up in the middle which is fine as well paralyzed starting to come in some good mine laying going down Focus firing with these siege tanks. You can see him pull them to the side, right? Those two were targeting up there. Those three targeted to the right. And he moved those. You could see the way the turrets were moving. They weren't retarding because of units dying. They were retarding because of Mihu. So I'm actually, I'm learning some of what he's doing during this game. Uh, but Paralyzed just shoving forward right now, killing so many units. Arbiter coming up as well. Mihu in some serious trouble. Yeah, this third base is not looking like it's going to survive. Obviously, not a lot of defense over here. We're 18 minutes in Mihu with just that plus one attack upgrade. Over here, yeah, plus one, plus two is on the way. Still making Arbiters, has four bases. Shutting down this base, like, killing one of the two bases is really good, but killing both? Like, Mihu just can't, he can't keep up with this. He can't keep up. This is really starting to look like a paralyzed victory. And after the, the probe count early on, I feel like this was a really informative, fun game to learn from. For me personally, like seeing the way that Mihu did the very aggressive bust against the one gate, killed a lot of probes, and, but then rallied the tanks. It feels like that was, that was where he mostly went wrong. The fact that he didn't want to get a third command center or a command center in general. The thing is, if you take the command center every time Protoss double expands, right? So the fact that he did take the command center and instead rallied up siege tanks, kept it two base versus two base for a long time. But, you know, it did allow Paralyzed to catch up. So it went from a position where Mihu was advantaged into one where he, uh, where Paralyzed caught up to him. And now looking at this, like complete map control, very little mining for me who he's gonna float this command center over. That was his fourth base location. Sending the pros from his uh, main base up here to mine. So at least he is getting another base up. He is pretty significantly down in army supply right now, unfortunately. It feels like an attack move could kill him. And in fact, recall is almost done. And a recall here, not as good actually as, as attack in the front, I think. It looks like he's gonna do it, but this is some pretty good mine coverage. He's got some tanks back. He feels it. He knows that a, a recall is coming. So this will probably fly all the way up here and then recall. And there's not that many mines here. 
So we'll see how that goes. The mines will start to hit some of them. Turrets taking out that Arbiter pretty quickly. And yeah, that's going to get cleaned. Like Mihu was very on top of being aware. That's the second time we've seen this game where Mihu knew what was coming to his base, right? Like he blocked the Reaver really well. Like all of his units were back before the Reaver got there. He really understood that that's what his opponent was aiming for. And here he really understood that that's what his opponent was aiming for. Like very, very impressive uh, game understanding here, I feel like, of, of what his opponent's trying to do. So in position for both those in holds, but you can see just how far behind 140 to 96 another nexus about to finish and realistically like paralyzed once he masses up a little bit more he can take another base as well although you know four mining bases is gonna be well that one's almost gone so it's gonna be like three mining bases against well two right now but not very long right each of these patches is just over a tank Paralyze spreading out. Good spread of siege tanks. But Paralyze kind of sending units on, on both sides, right? He wants to have his units split up a little bit so he can come in on flanks very, very quickly. Dragoons went up here. He's just checking to see if there is a command center. He was starting to think... It, you know, sometimes you get into a position like this where you're like, he's so dead. And then you think, wait, if he's so dead, why is he still in the game? So he, that's actually what that was. He thought there might be a command center here you could catch. If you just send a single Zealot, they can get it away before the Dragoons get up there. Uh, so he just sends his dragoons. And uh, one thing to know about Mihu is he doesn't leave until he's a, a trillion percent dead. So <laughs> uh, you don't have to be as wary about that, I guess. All right, here we go. The dragoons leading the charge. They're trying to take out some of these mines. Now the zealot's going to start funneling in through those dragoons. We had a stasis over to the side. It is so many zealots. Uh, the dragoon count has been pretty drastically reduced. And in fact, Mihu is trading reasonably well considering the difference in army sizes, but he is going to end up losing his siege tanks. He has zero... Well, he has these two siege tanks. They don't really count very much. He's dead. He's about as dead as can be here. That is, uh, that is a bit of a rough one. And that means that we're going to have to have Team Terran uh, have a revival. We're going to be down to one of the last one or two games coming up next. Uh, definitely Paralyze has has finished him. He's taking another Nexus during this time. GG is called. And let's see who Terran revives in the next video.